Hello everyone and welcome back or to my channel. My name is Erica and today I will be doing my deck of panning intro for 2024 and hopefully this time I stick all the way through because last year I kind of fell off. But I previously pre-filmed this video but I had mascara smudged up to my eyelid so I didn't really like the quality. So I'm refilming it today but I've already pulled all the cards and I don't want to do it again and also this would make editing a lot easier so I'm just going to tell you my prompt and then the product I picked. So I have my notes right here. If you don't know what the deck of panning is, it's a project pan created by Emily and Max and she's so creative. I don't know how she came up with all these prompts. <clears throat> you have a deck of cards that you put one joker into so it's supposed to be 53 cards and each card you pull corresponds with a prompt and you pick a product based off the prompt and you pick five products and I think this is great because for some project pans <laughs> you just have no idea what to do but with this one you're given a prompt so you kind of have some direction on what product to pick also because I did pre-film this I actually filmed this video and got my prompts and items before my regular project pan so that I would have a better chance of succeeding in this project pan because it wasn't like I was picking out leftover products there are some interesting products in here that I want to work on this year. So let's get started with the first prompt, which is a powder product. I originally had a different product for this category, but I got COVID. And so I have to, I'm going to just toss the product because I didn't have that much left anyways. It was kind of a gimme product. Instead of a gimme product, I'm giving myself a more difficult product. This is the Joa... I can't even read it. It's covered by the Sevia security sticker. I'm pretty sure it's a selfie ready. Loose setting powder in the shade Banana. I'm going to cover it just in case it's my store number. But this is brand new. You can even see like... What is it? It's not cellophane, is it? The plastic wrapping around it. And I used to say that my skin eats powder. And I want to see how true that is. So I'm going to use this from start to finish. This has 10 grams of product. So I'm going to be tracking my usages on this. But let's see how much powder my face truly eats. Moving on to my second prompt, which was a product that has pan in it. And for that, I picked my favorite eyeshadow of all time. This is the eyeshadow I wore on my wedding day, the eyeshadow I wear out to family gatherings and other special events like that. I think I wore it to my friend's wedding as well. It holds a very special place in my heart and I love it. It's from a drugstore palette. This is the Wet n Wild Coffee Cat palette in the shade and I just want to use up completely the shade Just Brew It, which this palette is falling apart. It's like about time for me to let it go anyways. The only reason why I keep this whole palette is for this one shade. So it is... Okay. It's right here. Can you tell it's my favorite? Like the rest of the palette doesn't really look as used. But I want to use it up completely because it's getting up there in age. I think I got this early COVID. Ugh. Perfect one and done. If I don't know what to do, I can just slap it on. But... I really don't want this to go bad on me. Not that Wet n Wild eyeshadows have a reputation of going bad on people. I feel like some people have kept it for years and it's still fine, but I don't want to run that risk. And it's about time. I should stop hoarding a whole palette just for one shade. Although the rest of the palette, I like the rest of the palette too, but I only really reach for it for this one shade. Next prompt I got was Peach Fuzz, which is the color of the year. I decided to pick something out of my Too Faced Italian Spritz palette. It smells like the Peach Bellini soap from uh, Bath & Body Works. And I picked the shade Ciao Bellini. Oh god, I feel like I butchered that. So it's right there. Ciao! <laughs> I don't know what my goal on it is. Probably to hit pan- oh, that is so ambitious. I am wearing it today. I think it will be to hit pan because it's the color of the year. Why not? I'm making my life very difficult with this project and my Pandas Eyeshadows project pan. I'm up for the challenge. For the fourth prompt, I got Wild Card, which is any product. So I'm rolling in this mini lipstick from MAC. It is in the shade Velvet Teddy. 
this is how much I have left. <laughs> it's still quite a bit, but my goal is to finish it because I have a lot of lipsticks and my lip product preference is lip gloss. So I figured this would be easier to use up, get some momentum, and then start using up my other lipstick. I feel like if I just threw in a full size MAC lipstick, I would be very depressed very quickly and also the shades that I have for those are like it's either red or dark. So this is perfect. I could wear it for like any season. The last prompt I drew was a product that you want to hit pan in, which I have so many products that I could pick for that. So I decided to pick my Cali Contour by Smashbox. This is the light medium and I just want to hit pan on anything. So there's six different powders in here. You have, oh it tells you on the back, a contour, a shimmer highlight, a matte bronze, a highlight, a shimmer bronze highlight, and a matte blush. Let me tell you something, the blush is not going to be the one I'm going to hit pan on because I'm already working on three blushes in my main project pan. <laughs> so it's probably going to be one of the bronzers because I don't have a bronzer in my other project pan. I specifically saved it for this one. That'll be exciting to keep track of. Hopefully by the next update I have some good news because I feel like the products I picked are all very difficult to like show progress on within the first month but if I don't roll anything new in or if I don't roll anything out in the next update I will roll something in. I like to keep my projects fresh so there's always going to be at least two new roll-ins whether or not I hit my goals on the existing products. So for example if next month I somehow manage to hit my goal for one of my products, I will still roll in two. So instead of five products, I will have six. But what is likely to happen next month is that I won't hit my goals on any of these quite yet because they are quite lofty goals and more like end game goals. But <clears throat> I will roll in two. So I'll have seven new products for the next month just to keep things a little spicy. But yeah, that's everything for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to do this project pan, I'll have a link to the spreadsheet and the playlist if I get it in time. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!